Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice exponential equation, which is 5 to the power of x times 5 to the power of x, this is equal to 75. So what is the value of x given that x is not equal to 0? So let's prevent the solution from here. Now, you find that this exponential equation, this is in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n plus m. Applying this exponent property, then we have 5 to the power of x plus x. This is equal to 75. Now, we have here 5 to the power of x plus x. This is 2x. And this is equal to 75. The next step is that to solve for x here, we introduce logarithm on both sides. So we have rock 5 to the power of 2x. This is equal to rock 75. The next step is that rock 5 to the power of 2x, this is in the form of rock a to the power of n, which we can express as n rock a. Applying this power root property of logarithm, then rock 5 to the power of 2x becomes 2x rock 5, this is equal to rock 75. So let's divide both sides by rock 5, here by rock 5. So now let's simplify rock 5 and rock 5 here, so that now we have 2x, this is equal to rock 75, divided by rock 5. We can express 75. This is the same thing as 25 multiplied by 3. Substituting this, then we have 2x. This is equal to rog 25 multiplied by 3. Everything here divided by rog 5. Now, the next step is that rog 25 times 3. This is in the form of rog A multiplied by B, which we can express as rock a plus rock b. So let's apply this logarithm property from here. Applying this logarithm property, then here we have 2x, this is equal to rock 25 divided by rock 5, then plus rock 3 divided by rock 5. The next step is that 25 can be expressed as 5 to the power of 2. So this implies that here we have 2x. This is equal to rog 5 to the power of 2 divided by rog 5. Then plus rog 3 divided by rog 5. The next step is that rog 5 to the power of 2. This is in the form of rog a to the power of n which can be expressed as n rock a. So let's apply this power root property so that now 2x here is equal to 2 rock 5 divided by rock 5 then plus rock 3 divided by rock 5. So let's simplify here. Rock 5 and rock 5 simplifies so that we have 2x this is equal to 2 plus this is rock 3 divided by rock 5. Now you find that rock 3 divided by rock 5, this is in the form of rock A divided by rock B, which can be expressed as rock A to base B. Now applying this logarithm property, then we have 2x, this is equal to 2 plus. Now here we have rock 3 to base 5. Let's divide through both sides by 2. So that now here we have x is equal to. Now we have 2 over 2. Then plus a half. This is rock 3 to base 5. Let's simplify 2 and 2 here. So that now x is equal to. This is 1 plus half then rock 3 to base 5 now 
This is the value of x from here. The next step is to verify that this value of x satisfies the equation as follows. Now let's verify that x equal to 1 plus a half rock 3 to base 5 satisfies the equation. Now if you recall here, we have 5 to the power of x times 5 to the power of x. This is supposed to give us a value of 75. Now this exponential equation, this is in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m. And this can be expressed as a to the power of n plus m. So this is the same thing as 5 to the power of x plus x. This is 2x. Then this should give us a value of 75. Let's substitute x so that we have 5 raised to the power of 2 times x. x is 1 plus half. This is rope 3 to base 5. This should give us a value of 75. So from here, let's open the parentheses so that we have 5 to the power of 2 times 1, this is 2, then plus 2 times a half. This means that we simplify 2 here. So we have plus th rope 3 to base 5. This should give us a value of 75. The next step is that 5 to the power of 2 plus rope 3 to base 5. This is in the form of a to the power of n plus m. And this can be expressed as a to the power of n times a to the power of m. So here we have 5 to the power of 2 times 5 to the power of rock 3 to base 5. This is supposed to give us a value of 75. So 5 squared from here, this is the same thing as 25. So we have 25 multiplied by 5 to the power of rock 3 to base 5. This should give us a value of 75. So the next step is that 5 to the power of rock 3 to base 5. This is in the form of a to the power of rock b to base a. This is equal to b. Applying this property, then we have 5 to the power of rock 3 to base 5. This should give us a value of 3. And this implies that we can substitute 3 here so that you have 25 multiplying by 3. This should give us a value of 75. So we have 25 times 3. This is equal to 75. And this is actually equal to 75. So this implies that the left add side. This is equal to the right add side. And this actually implies that the value of x, which is equal to 1 plus a half rope 3 to base 5, satisfies the equation. So can you follow the steps? Like this video and subscribe. Can you like this video and subscribe? See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.